In this video tutorial, we'll talk about modifiers and we'll show you how to create them and how to use them. Uh, modifiers, for those of you that don't know, are uh, those options in the software that let you, let you customize an item. Say, if your um, customer doesn't like the item the way it comes standard, and they say that they want some small changes to it, something taken out, something added to it. That's where modifiers come in play. Those are modifiers. Uh, good example for modifiers for food. You know, one of the most common used ones would be something like no onions, no garlic, or extra cheese. For alcoholic beverages would be something like no ice or a lemon wedge. So, you know, since, since you can take out things or add things to the item to modify it, uh, you can not charge or charge whatever you like. Um, let's say we'll make a couple of modifiers to show you how this works. We'll go to inventory and edit the inventory. So these are made just like any other item in inventory. We have a special button for them that says add a modifier. So we'll go ahead and click it. And let's say we'll do the one on food that we said is no onions. So we'll name it no onions, the modifier text. And uh, supply price, let's say for us, is OK to stay at 0 because we're taking something out. Uh, final price, we're not going to charge for this because we're taking something out of the you know, um, item. Let's say tax is at 7%. And this is pretty important right now. Uh, you need to select the menus or a menu that uh, will apply to this modifier. So whatever menus you want this modifier to show up as an option, you need to enter them in here, uh, even if it's a single menu. So let's say right now we have food and beer. So let's say we add this to food, no onions, right? Click add and the modifier has been created. Let's do one more. Like we said, maybe this extra cheese one. And 7% tax, still fine. Now for extra cheese, let's say we'll charge $1. Supply price is, I don't know, 20 cents. And uh, we said it's going to charge $1. So it calculates the markup. And now we're going to put it in the food menu. One this modifier to appear there. Click Add. And this modifier has been created as well. And let's do a few more for, um, well, just one more for our uh, alcohol menu, which in this case is just beers, uh, is all we have created at this moment. So it won't, uh, you know, make sense to go ahead with that ice or no ice, uh, you know, example. We'll just go with the lime wedge for a beer that seems like a suitable modifier. We want it to show up in the beer and section. And let's say it's going to be, um, I don't know, supply price, five cents. And uh, we want to charge 50 cents for it. Sounds about right. Click Add. And this too has been created. And right now just to refresh everything if i hit on beer the modifiers show up in here and you can uh, go through them if there are more than um, you know what this menu can show at one time at one screen you can go back and forth with these two arrows and food here are your modifiers here also so your orders will look something like this let's say the customer wants a cheeseburger um, no onions extra cheese and to drink Amstel beer with a lime wedge, as much sense as that makes. I think uh, that gets the point across. We just hit tender, and it tender, tenders out like any other sale. And of course, the modifiers will print out in the appropriate printer wherever the main item prints. That's where the modifiers for that item print. So the cooks will get uh, in the kitchen will get the. Uh, modifiers for the food order and uh, the bartender will get the order for beer and lime wedge.